Hello YouTube, this is uh, part two of Oops, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, my problem was that I, I did a video, I had to hook uh, eight of the Harbor Freight solar panels together, and uh, I was only getting like 350 watts max. That's because I was running them all in parallel. Well, I ordered some new stuff, and now I can show you. Here, we'll come here. converted all the panels to MC4 connectors and uh, bought some new solar cable also so you see I got the front and the back hooked up with all MC4 cables and these uh, MC4 splitters these two black ones you hear see two to one Okay, so let's stand back. Okay. These three right here are in series together. And these three in the back are in series together. And then two sets are in parallel. So I'm seeing some much, much better results as far as getting power out of this. And uh, it's got a much higher voltage and which we'll see when we get indoors and I'm getting a lot less current because the, the voltage is so much higher so let's go in and see what we got okay we're back inside now so let's see what kind of power we're getting uh, look at that we're getting uh, 36.2 amps and 493 watts to the battery okay Let's take a look up at the charge controller and see what's going on up there. And remember this charge controller with in a 12 volt system is only at like a, a maximum input of 520 watts. So we're getting close to that maximum now. So let's see, we're getting uh, 35.1, 35.2 amps out of it right now. And we'll check the voltage. I have 48 volts. Before when I had it in parallel, it was 16 to 18. Now putting those three panels in series, I'm getting 48.6 volts, which may, which lowers the amperage coming down, you know, the cable from the outside, which we'll see here when we look at the app. So, wow, this is uh, doing pretty good. Let's go back to that current, getting a lot of current, because remember this is a, 40 amp charge controller and we're getting 35 amps out of it right now so this is the way it's supposed to be working okay we're still getting 496 watts okay let's take a look at the app the app says that the uh, solar oh the app says look at got up to 505 watts at one time so let's refresh it still 505 watts 508 so we're getting real close now just by getting it hooked up properly to the max of this system okay i got a heat gun down here so let's turn it on see if we can get any anything else to it i'll put it on medium and we'll go back up here instead of inputting 35 amps to the battery now we're we're drawing you know minus 10 so we're drawing 10 amps so the heat gun is running on the charge controller and the battery okay so now let's take a look at the app again and see if we get an increase in power Oh, we're still pulling 505. Oh, there's 508. Yeah, 505, 508. That's out of a possible 520 or uh, 40 amps. So, I mean, this is the way it's supposed to work now. All right. Thank you, YouTube. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so 
I got some uh, more videos that are going to be coming out. Got some good ideas for videos. What I'm do is uh, there's a whole bunch of different series connections you could do combinations. So I bought a whole bunch of different cables where I can, uh, you know, put together a whole bunch of different combinations. So we're going to be doing that and uh, seeing what kind of results we get. So you know, stay tuned for those videos. All right, thank you, and bye-bye.